Today I wanted to talk about the names that start with a C. C names. Okay, let's get started. The first name I want to talk about is Carolyn. It is a form of Charles and it means free man or in this case free woman. And it also means strong willed a very strong woman in my opinion because it to me it actually fits my mom Jean because she was a very strong woman and her name was Carolyn Jean and she was a fighter and I miss her very much so that's why I mentioned this name and I think it needs more attention it is on our list of names if we ever have a child. Sorry, I'm having a hard time holding the camera. Um, the next name is Carrie. Carrie is another form of Charles. Same meaning as Carolyn. And it also means dark-headed one. If you spell it K-E-R-R-I, but the one I got written down is C-A-R-R-I-E. And I have a friend that has a little girl, and her name is Carrie Louise. I think that's a cute name. The next name is Charlotte. It's another form of Charles. And I think this is a great alternative to a lot of names that were getting popular like Juliet, Scarlet. I've even heard of girls being named Elliot and I really like the name Elliot for a girl but if you like the let theme Charlotte is a good name to go with. The next name is Charlie. It's a nickname for Charlotte and it has the same meaning as Charlotte. Free woman. I think this is good on its own as a name for a boy or girl, but I prefer it for a girl. To me, it's more of a girl's name because I have to know plenty of girls named Charlie, but I also know a lot of guys named Charlie, but I can see it more on a girl. And I would love to have a little girl named Charlie. But maybe because of people I know in the past, I probably won't end up using this name. The next name is Sharla. It is a good alternative to those L.A. names, endings, that a lot of people are into, like Jayla, Kayla, Darla, Shayla, Skyla. You get what I'm saying, like Michaela. You could go with Charla. I could really see a little girl named Charla. That's adorable. And it's the same meaning as the other names I've already mentioned. The next name is Charlene or Charlene, however you want to pronounce it. Um, my husband's grandma's name is this. And I love this name. And it means the same thing as Charles. The next name is Cherish. Cherish means honor, love, and care. I really like this name. I had a friend and his daughter's name was Cherish. Rest in peace. Love you, Gaston. The next name is Charity. Charity means giveness of kind. What well, I said that backwards. It's give kindness. I'm sorry. I had like a Star Wars moment. <laughs> um, I really like this name. I would use it since I can't use Chastity because that's my cousin's name. And mentioning of Chastity, that's the next name. Chastity means purity, and I really love this name. If I could, I would use it. 
but it's my cousin's name, so I can't. The next name is Christine. It means follower of Christ. It's a form of Christian and a form of Christopher. And I really like this name. And you could also use Christina if you don't like Christine. And you can always use the nickname Tina. Or the nickname Chris. I love the nickname Chris for a girl. I just love it. I know I just sounded weird part of there. The next name is Coriander. It is a unisex name. And it means romance and spicy. I really like this for a girl. I could actually see a little girl named Coriander. You could always use the nickname Cory. And Cory's unisex. And, or the nickname Andy. I love the nickname Andy for a girl. It's so cute. The next name is Carter. And it means driver of a cart. It is a mating name. Um, a maiden name. Sorry, I got tongue tied there. On my side of the family. And considering this name for a little girl in honor of my mom, Jean. Sorry if I mention her a lot. It's just I miss her. Now on to the boys. Sorry if I keep looking off. I got the names on paper so I don't forget. The first name I want to talk about is Connor. It's one of my favorite names. The first time I heard it was on Angel. And it means wolf lover. I love this name. Oh, I can see me and my husband having a little boy named Connor. The next name is Christopher. And it means follower of Christ. I really like this name. As a middle name. Like Brody Christopher or Gannon Christopher. But you can also do like Christopher Xavier or Christopher David. You know. It's a good name. A really good name that I think shouldn't have to go out of style. The next name is Kristoff. A form of Christopher. I like this name. Spelt with a C-H spelling instead of the K spelling. With the K spelling, it's off frozen. The next name is Carlisle. It is spelt with an S in it normally. But I prefer the Lyle spelling. Like it's C-A-R-L-Y-L-E. And you can always um, use the nickname Lyle. And it means city. Of the city, that's what the, what I found on the internet at least. The next name is Caleb. This is my nephew's name, but he spells it with a K. But I think I like it spelled with a K or C. It looks good both ways, and it means loyal or dog. And let's face it. Dogs are loyal to their owners, so it's a good meaning. The next name is Clifton. Oh, not Clifton. Excuse me. Clifford. Clifford is a good name. The first thing I thought of when I was younger was Clifford the Big Red Dog. But I really love this name for a boy. It don't really bother me with that cartoon. I mean, I would so love to use this. Sorry, my camera cut off when I was talking about the name Clifford. I would so use this name in honor of my husband if he would let me. Instead of using Junior, since his name is Cliff. Or you could always use the name Cliff instead of Clifford if you don't like Clifford. Cliff is a good name. It should have more attention. The next name is Ko. And it means victory of the people. First time I heard this name was on Charmed. As Phoebe's boyfriend. That was like a demon. The next name is Cody. The meaning is victory of the people too. Um, at least the meaning that I found. And the next.
next name is Corey. My husband really likes this name because of Boy Meets World. And it means hollow. Next name is Cooper. And it means barrel maker. I really like the name Cooper. I can really see a little Cooper. It's cute. And Coop is off charm too. And you could always use the name Coop. The nickname Coop for little Cooper. The next one is Chandler. And it means candle maker. I really like this name. And I like the combinations of Chandler James or like Fidigan Chandler or something like that. Mm. You know. Sorry, my camera cut off again. Um, Chandler, it's cute. I can really see that. The next name is Chance, and it means luck or lucky. I really like this name. And the next one is Cain. Cain means battle. I have a nephew named Cain, and I think it's so cute. But he spells it C H. Wait a minute, C A H E N. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. C A H N E. And that's a cute meaning if you like unique, I mean, unique spelling if you like unique spellings. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. Whew. So, that's all the C names. I hope you like it. And subscribe to my channel. And if you like my videos, please like. And leave comments of what kind of videos you would like for me to make. Like on what kind of names and stuff. Bye.